What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look here at the new OP Town Hall 13 War Base that you can use in the Clan War Leagues especially to help you uh, make sure you not you don't get tripled, maybe even you get one star. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Alright guys, so right before we jump into the, into the video, just want to remind you guys, if you want to support me, make sure you go into your settings, more settings, scroll all the way down, and type in your creator code LEXNOS before you make any purchases, including the gold pass for this season, guys. It really does help me a lot. So thank you so much for, to everybody who does use code LEXNOS. Make sure you do that. Tell all your clanmates to use it as well before purchasing gems. It really does mean a lot. And let me know down in the comments if you are using code LEXNOS when you're purchasing gems, guys. Thank you. But let's go ahead and jump right into this base here. This base has been doing really well for us in Tribe Gaming. Uh, still hasn't been tripled in an actual war yet. So here it is right here. This is Hex's base. He has been using it for the last two or three wars and it hasn't been tripled yet so I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you guys today want some of you guys to use it in the clan war leagues let me know how it does for you let's go ahead and take a look at it though and figure out why it's doing so well so let's go straight into uh, what view here we want photo mode there we go so this is the base here with the traps as you can see the link will be in the description if you guys want to copy it directly uh, here's a picture of it with the traps in case you were wondering though so the reason why this base has been working so well, you guys have heard me say it in a lot of my videos, a lot of my previous videos, that these bases with channels are just no good anymore because you can just walk your queen inside of it and get so much value. But that's the point of this base is it's baiting that, guys, and it's working really well. We haven't seen anybody triple it with those walks yet. Uh, a lot of people have tried to blimp the town hall and it just doesn't work. Uh, this Tesla farm in combination with the Seeking Air Mines and the uh, Toilet Bowl trap right here, the Tornado trap, the, the blimp just doesn't get to the Town Hall unless they use a ton, a ton of loons to help them in front of the blimp. It's just too much of an investment, especially on a fresh attack like in the Clan War Leagues or in the 5v5 ESL format wars. It's just not working, guys. The blimp's not getting the Town Hall. Uh, so anytime someone comes in and they're going to try to charge here and blimp the town hall, it always ends up in like a bad percentage two star because they have to save the two star instead of going for the triple. And some people have tried to always attack it from this side and with either like a Sui, which we're going to watch a replay here in a little bit of a Sui Lalo that failed. Or they also try to just queen walk starting over here and walk down. And they lose a lot of healers over there, over here, because there's a lot of seeking air mines. Some of them, some of the people are smart. They bring a couple cocoa loons, but they still end up losing a healer or two. And they either try to wall break here or wall break here and let their queen get the town hall. And that always works out. But by the time you get your queen over here, it's you're already a minute and a half into the attack. The CC is just barely coming out. You're trying to wall break again to get the eagle, and it's just not working out. There's too much to go through on the back end, whether they're using hogs or loons. You got all three heroes over here. Three Inferno Towers, Expos, Scatter Shots, it's just crazy. Uh, it's hard to get the Eagle unless you come in from this angle. And this Single Target Inferno kind of stops you from doing any sort of charge here. Unless you use something early on it, guys. It's just overall a really good base. It really baits a lot of attacks that don't work on it. You guys should definitely uh, have your clanmates FC it. Let me know how you guys triple it down below. Because, of course, like I've said a million times before, every base can be tripled with the right attack. But the point... Of base building these days is to try to bait a certain attack try to in, uh, build a base that encourages somebody to use a certain attack on it and that attack ends up failing because you have all your traps placed correctly so that's the base right there let's go ahead and take a look at one of the replays here uh, this was one of our last 5v5 wars against Jayoff guys and I mean Jayoff I'm sure you guys all know who JF are. They're one of the best clans in the world for sure. And we ended up getting the victory here 13 to 11. We got three triples and they were only able to get one. They did triple my base here unfortunately. But today we're looking at Hex's base. And so here's going to be Bum coming in. Boom coming in with the Sui Lalo that I talked about earlier. Now this Sui does get a ton, a ton of value and it still doesn't triple. Even though, I mean look, look at how much value is going to get here from the Sui. Starting off with the Royal Champ over here. On the bottom side, her job is to clear out all this trash over here to make sure the other heroes are going to be able to go in this way. King's going to get a bunch of value. Queen's going to go in with the wall break, get the town hall. I mean, the Sui goes perfectly as planned. He couldn't have asked for a better Sui, and it's still not going to triple because the backside is just so nasty for Lalo. 
And I mean, you can blame it on, you know, Lalo not being the meta right now, but I mean, Boom here is one of the best Lalo attackers in the game from Jayoff, so if he can't do it, I know it's going to be hard for anybody else to do it. So let's go ahead and see exactly what happens here. The king's going to find the entire Tesla farm, and he's going to get stuck on it. He's going to get through it, though, eventually with the help of this baby dragon and the wizard down south. And then the queen and the wall breakers are going to come in behind here in just a second. There goes the wall breakers. Queen's going to get dropped here in just a second. There she goes, targeting the expo. And then she's going to go step up uh, for all this other stuff and target the town hall as well. She's going to get all the value that he wanted her to get. Not even going to pull the CC right away. He did bring a poison because, of course, these are all fresh attacks, so you never know what's in the CC. But he's not going to need it because it's going to be uh, something that only targets air troops. So, I mean, he doesn't even have to fight the CC here. He's going to be using a blimp with an electron as part of this Lalo and all his troops moving in. Going to use the poison on the queen. Uh, he does have a clone spell, and that E-Dragon is going to take out the queen, no problem at all. He probably should have popped the warden ability a lot earlier. It would have been a lot closer if he had, I think. But he tried to save it. Uh, that road champ took out quite a few loons. The, his pups and minions just now took out the road champ. The queen died as well. And there he's popping warden ability for the E-Dragon and the clone loons going into the core. Trying to freeze to keep these loons alive. But it's just not going to be enough guys. Too much splash on the back end here. The eagle. Uh, saving the eagle for the end is just too hard. It, you can't do it. That eagle gets off way too many shots and it just absolutely destroys loons. And if you try to come from the eagle side first with the Lalo, it's just too hard to Lalo against three Infernos and three heroes on the back end. They're just going to dick your loons every single time. So, I mean, overall, this base is just kicking butt. It's doing really well, guys. Um, you see a replay here of Boom coming in, trying to do the Sui Lalo on it, and it's just not going to work. I mean, we can take another look at the base itself here, see why... It's working so well. Uh, another thing that people have been trying is they'll just walk. Uh, kind of similar to the first thing I said. They'll walk right here. Start the queen here and funnel with like the king on this side. And they'll try to get their queen going into here. And they want to wall break on this wizard tower. In order to let queen get the... Uh, she, she'll be able to reach all this stuff here. And then she'll go inside and she'll be able to reach all this stuff here. And keep on going getting more value. So one thing I do actually recommend after you get this base is put a wall breaker trap right here. Move one of the small bombs and put it right here. I think that'll help a lot either right there or right there. That'll help defend that wall break a little bit. Um, you can even move one of the seeking air mines like this one here over toward this area just to help kill healers from that charge or if you think you know the opponents you go up against use more spammy troops like a mass e-dragon and stuff like that you might actually want to move some of these sams some of these seeking air mines from the outside of the base over toward the core like over here and over here uh, because that helps defend against mass e-dragons a lot uh, most people who attack with mass e-dragons will either enter on the town hall side or the eagle side so probably somewhere on the right or the south side of this base. So you might want to stack all the seeking air mines like inside here if you're afraid of getting hit by mass E-Dragons. Um, but other than that, I mean the only other attacks we've really been trying on this base is charging in from like the 12 o'clock angle. Uh, going straight into this inferno tower and then jumping over toward the other inferno tower. And then using... Um, like mass miners for example into this area and saving a late blimp for the town hall coming from like way downtown over here or over here and just popping the warden ability here for the miners and for the blimp to make sure the blimp gets all the way to the town hall that's another thing that we've been trying and it's just not working out uh, super well we did get it to work once in FC but it was super close guys I mean all the miners end up dying out you have to have your heals and your warden ability timed perfectly because of these double giant bombs in combination with the scatter shot. I mean, if your miners or your hogs aren't at full health when these double giant bombs and a scatter blast goes off all at once, it's just boom, all your miners are dead, all your hogs are dead, and it's just not pretty. Uh, so that's another thing that makes this base so good. The two ground expos, actually there's three ground expos on this version. That's what's been encouraging a lot of people, including uh, Boom, like you guys saw, to use Sui Lalo on this base. And so it's kind of baited like that, and we're, it's working out really well for us. Uh, what you could do also is make all four Expos ground. You could make this one ground as well, and then put uh, like a dragon in your CC. I think a dragon and some archers 
would be really well or maybe even just double dragon uh, kind of bait an air attack and then have uh, air targeting troops in your CC uh, I mean it really just depends on on what kind of uh, clans you think you're gonna go up against but I really encourage you guys to try this base out let me know how it works for you use it in the clan war leagues use it in your you know ESL 5v5 one hit only events um, but definitely let me know how you guys triple it if you have your clan mates attack it in FC let me know how that works out how they triple it because I'm actually really curious to see what they use uh, this base has been working really well for us but that's gonna be it for this video guys the link is gonna be in the description make sure you guys are using creator code Lexnos uh, if you want to support me in game it really does mean a lot and if you guys want to see more videos on OP bases like this let me know I can make a series about it maybe one a week maybe one every other week it depends on how often we find really good bases like this one let me know what you guys are thinking down below subscribe for more content and I'll catch you guys in the next video